Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm running Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and I'm going to show you how to install the Origin Launcher as well as update Virtual C++ so that you don't get the error messages when you're installing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, then please consider subscribing and keeping up to the latest Mac gaming news. It only takes a moment and it helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So I'm gonna leave a link to this web address in the description and this is gonna take us to the Windows Insider Preview download of Windows 11 ARM. So if you're seeing this page, it means that you need to sign up to the free Windows Insider program. And I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to log into a Microsoft account. So you can use any Microsoft account, this process is completely free. And once we've done this, what we can do is to click on this blue button here for learn more. So I'm gonna click on this now. And then what I'm gonna do is to scroll down and then we'll get to this Windows Insider Program sign up. We're gonna click this register button here. So here it's saying we're gonna register for the Windows Insider Program. I'm gonna click sign in now. So it's already detected that I've logged into my Microsoft account. I'm gonna scroll down here. We're gonna click I accept the terms of this agreement and then click register now. And when it says, welcome to the Windows Insider program, we're now able to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So what we now need to do is to return to this web address that we had at the beginning. And now that we've logged in with a Microsoft Insider program account, this page has changed and we now have this blue button here, which is the Windows 11 ARM download button. So I'm gonna click this button now and it's going to download Windows 11 ARM VHDX for us. So this download is gonna take a little bit of time. It's 9.5 gigabytes in size. So whilst we're waiting for this to complete, we can move on to the next step. So next we're going to download and install Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we're gonna be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is gonna take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm gonna click the download now button here. And then we're gonna press okay. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm gonna to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install parallelsdesktop.dmg. So here we're gonna double click on the installer and now we're gonna double click on install parallels desktop. Here we'll press open and we're just gonna let this finish downloading. So now we're gonna enter our password and press okay. So once Parallels is installed, what we're gonna do is to double click on Parallels desktop and then we're gonna be met with this installation wizard. So here we're gonna press continue. And what we're gonna do is to create a new Windows 11 ARM virtual machine. So we're gonna select the right hand side icon here and press continue. Now it's automatically detected that we've downloaded the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file in our downloads folder. So if this doesn't appear, what you can do is click choose manually and then click select a file, and then we can go to our downloads folder and then select the Windows 11 ARM Insider Preview and then press open. So next we're gonna press continue. And because we want to maximize game performance, I'm gonna select games only as a primary use and press continue. So here we can set a name for our virtual machine. I'm just gonna leave it as default and press create. And now we're gonna let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 ARM is being installed and this is going through the setup process. And that's going through the setup process. We just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're gonna press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're gonna minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So I'll leave a link in the description for the origin launcher. And what we're gonna do is to go to the download section here and then click download for Windows. So despite the fact that we're running this on a Mac, we're gonna be using the Windows version of Origin so that we can access Origin games. Then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder and then double click Origin Thin Setup. I'm just gonna show you the error message that you're gonna get. So msvcp140.dll is missing. And that's basically because we need to download the VC Runtime 140. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this particular Microsoft page. This is for the Microsoft C++ redistributable. So we're gonna download the version that's appropriate for Windows 11 ARM. I wanna download both versions of the software. In our downloads folder, we're gonna install the 64-bit and the x86 version as well. So I'm gonna double click on 64-bit, press yes here, and then that, that install. And we're also gonna install the x86 version. 
press agree and click install, press yes. And then we're gonna double click on origin thin setup. So the reality is that we do actually need the x86 version. That's because this installer is still an x86 64 bit application. So it's using emulation in order to run this. So therefore we need to use this version of the redistributable in order to install origin. So here I'm gonna press install origin. I'm gonna press continue here. Here I'm gonna press yes. So now that Origin is installed, we can go ahead and log into our account. Just type in your username and password. Or if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create a free account here. I'm just going to sign into my account. So now that we've logged into Origin, you can go ahead and access your game library. And then many of the games here are going to be available to download and then play on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you want to check which game is compatible with Parallels, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. You can also sort by the Parallels column here, and you can see which games are available to run. Many of these are on Origin. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.